Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. There's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon today, and coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Major Minor. So, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Akihabara at night. Huh. You already got dark outside? Just how much time are we wasting in there? Oh well. Akihabara at night was t nighttime was beautiful. It was lit up unlike anything I've ever seen. You enjoy your little date? I wouldn't really call it a date. I was just joking, Rook. No need to repeat it. Now I'm embarrassed. Kila was talking about me behind my back. That's new. I made a joke, and that's all it was. About you wanting to woo a Claire. I'm sorry for doing that. It was rude. I accept his apology. Uh, but I let him know that's not in my nature. I never try to win over a crying girl. Regardless, it made me laugh. We bonded, or whatever you want to call it. That is, until something came up. Something came up? I didn't want to interrupt you two. We had no idea what you may have been doing. But I got a call. We're going to the hotel. A call? Wait, that's not so weird. Did I just hear him say that he bonded with Keela? I noticed that they're both holding takeout bags. No way. They got food without me? I can't explain the specifics right now, but it involves your safety. Both of you. So I need to take you to your hotel. Yeah, it seemed all seemed very important. We discussed it over some dinner. Without me. Damn, I'm hungry. Good news, though. We're really close. Just a short walk away. We made sure to book a convenient location. I'll tell you a little more tomorrow. But right now, safety is a pri safety is priority. Take his word for it. Try not to object. A lecture, a lecture from Rook is not what I want right now. He starts to lead us down the street. It doesn't take much longer until we get to the hotel. Well, this is it. Hope you enjoy your stay. Your room is 217. Here are your key cards. It shouldn't be too hard to find. He hands us both our key cards. Wow, this place is massive! What kind of amenities does it have? Well, you'll each have your own beds. There's a hot tub, a bed, and a shower. You'll even get your own masseuse. A personal masseuse? Wow, I could sure go for a massage. This is crazy. I feel like a millionaire. I wonder who else is staying here. This is the hotel where contest winners stay. There must be all sorts of celebrities present. Hope you do enjoy it. You have no idea how much it cost. Not too much, I hope. Be up at 9 a.m. sharp. I'll come to get you in the morning. And if it's not me, it'll be Jade. You'll get to meet more of the team. Plus, you'll, ex you'll experience the backstage, the backstage life. There's lots of food, just so you know. Food? Yes, finally! That's all I wanted to hear. Keela excitedly runs the hotel room doors and decide to give chase. I wouldn't want to get lost. It doesn't take us that long to find our hotel room, but when we do, we're stunned. Would you like to save your game? Yes, absolutely. I will save my game right here. This is not the. This is not where I'm going to have an. Ad, where I'm going to have an ad break though. Okay. It looks amazing on the inside. It's the biggest hotel room I've ever seen. Really? This place is huge. If you pictured a fancy Japanese hotel, this is exactly what it would be in your head. It even has a katatsu. Not that I'm cold or anything, but at least I prepared for it all. Can't get over how great this place is. It's top tier, that's for sure. Let's turn on the TV and see what's on. I love weird Japanese game shows. He scurries over to the table and grabs the remote. For a moment, he looked confused. I guess the buttons on the remote are in Japanese. I see him find a big red button and press it. Sure enough, the TV turns on. I suppose some things are universal between cultures. He sits down on the floor and motions for me to join. It seems like there's a big news report coming going on. I see crime scene tape. Then I look at the time. Now I know what's going on. Another midnight death? A news reporter appears on the screen. He seems distraught, maybe even scared. Uh, Fukumoto here, reporting live from Tokyo. I have some distressing news. Um, g give me a moment here. Confirming. He looks off the screen for a few moments and nods. It's as if he's talking to somebody on the scene. He holds the microphone away from himself. Whatever he's talking about must be unsafe to hear. Sorry, it will just take a while longer. I'm sorry for interrupting your program. It will resume as soon as this is over. He looks away from the camera again. Same direction. This Fukumoto wears a face of shock all of a sudden. It's like, y'all, it is water time. It's like he's been given horrible news. It's now being confirmed to me. 
Another victim of the Midnight Deaths. Their body was discovered just moments ago. He lets out an audible gulp before continuing. I'm not sure about how, how to go about saying this, but it's with a heavy heart that I... Heavy heart? Oh no, this must not be an ordinary victim. He cuts himself off, taking a gulp before he continues. Oh shit! Oh shit! The pop idol's dead! What the fuck? Who killed Justin Bieber? It's Clayce, the pop idol! Recently in Tokyo to launch his new tour, but now a victim of these senseless deaths! Oh. Goodness. Uh Yeah. Well, that kind of puts a damper on things. Huh. Oh. An earlier time. In the throne room of Valasquez, the immortal king. Oh, wow. Aren't you decked out? History repeats itself. At least that's what they say, right? We make our mistakes and learn from them. I cannot say, my lord. I am merely a mortal. I live a short life with many mistakes. I'll be gone before history can repeat. But you? But you? You have the wisdom of millennia, something I am not lucky enough to hold. Were it a statement, I would agree. But you posed a question. I, and one I have no right to answer. There is no need to apologize. I was simply thinking aloud. Though it may relate to Plyer somewhat. Markiplier. <laughs> He's gaining quite the following. Rightly so. He has the charisma, enough to bend anyone to his will, even if the cause is as foolish as his. Yes, what a foolish cause it is. The last time someone sought severance, well, the only thing severed was their head. It is a costly and dangerous desire. It's a joke, of course, though I forgot about your career. I'm trying to joke about assassination. How is your protege coming along? You mean Conrad. He is conflicted. Sometimes he thinks our methods are harsh. Perhaps he might even think they are wrong. But I was the same. I would give a time, my lord. He will become someone of great importance. Very well. I try. I trust in the both of you. You will expose Lord Plyer quite swiftly, and so my reign will go unhindered. Of course, my lord. Though Plyer is not the topic of the day, it is a matter of much greater import. Is something wrong, my lord? No. It's the opposite, in fact. My opening of terror to immigrants is for a very specific reason. There are those who would disagree with me, and I would as well if I were unaware. The truth of this matter is quite secretive. Truth? You aren't doing this for charity. It's a welcome side effect, to be honest. But my intent wasn't to take in so many. I only sought the arrival of one person. The Savior. The Savior? Yes. I opened our borders solely for them. But so far, they have not come. And what might we need saving from? It cannot be a lack of resources. Lord Player is fooling everyone with that. Indeed, it is not. But my lips are sealed. Only know that they are needed urgently. I will require your help, however. I've learned of something recently. A method that may expedite their arrival. I am all ears, my lord. I finally pinpointed their location. A trusted source has found the savior. They reside on a planet called Earth. I've never heard of it. For a very specific reason, Endymion. Earth is not connected to any other world. It is what I call an untouched planet. Such a thing exists? Only when you have something to hide. Or in this case, something to shelter. How can I help? It seems Earth is beyond anyone's reach. I am happy to assist, but I seem unable to. Gladly. That is not the case. That trusted source I mentioned earlier? They've come up with a means to reach Earth. Second, y'all. Well, it is coffee time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of Joe. A means to retrieve the Savior. Retrieve, my lord. Yes, like a thief in the night. And this task will fall solely to you. There is no one else I can trust. I am honored. What must be done? You must perform a ritual.
Oh boy. Keela and I remain frozen in fear. We watch in horror as the TV displays a gruesome image. We see a body bag being loaded into an ambulance. It drives away without its siren wailing. That means... No, it can't be. It just can't. Suddenly everything seems to come crashing down. There would be no more world tour. We would be sent back home? We would be... would become some sort of media hotshots? Would we become some sort of media hotshots? Keela's jaw appears inches away from the floor. I can tell he's fighting off tears with fervent effort. I... but... it... <sighs> he seems to be unable to form a coherent sentence. I reach out to comfort him and... I can't move! I know this feeling by now. I've experienced it several times today. On the train ride here. I'm about to be visited. By him. It's an interesting thing, isn't it? Life is such a frail force. While death is infinitely, infinitely more powerful, someone hope it's the other way around. To watch your world fade away, like a small fly being swatted on the wall. Just like that, someone can die. No one is above death. It says no one is below life. I've had enough of his cryptic speeches. I deserve some answers, and I make that very clear. Thankfully, I'm able to move and speak again. You want answers? What is an answer, exactly? A doorway to more questions, perhaps? Now he's just getting pretentious. But I sense some nervousness? Is he worried about something? It's like he's trying to stall. Well, I did promise you answers, but I cannot suspend this place for long. Please, come with me to the Ark. Suspend? You'll have to grab my hand. A connection is required to do this. What about the first time? I spend a moment thinking before acting. Come on now, grab my hand. If the suspension ends, you'll be trapped. You don't want to know what happens then. Grab his hand. Grab his hand. I reach out and grab his hand. I had no idea what he was planning, but I trusted him. <sighs> Especially if he was going to give me some answers. I couldn't disobey him on the verge of the truth. And to give me a power like he implied he did? He had to trust me as well. This might hurt a little bit. He smirks at me as he snaps his fingers, this time using his free hand. And then we're in the Ark, just like that. First and foremost, allow me to apologize. I feel as though you may be overwhelmed. It's not like me to take things so fast, but recently matters have become urgent. Second y'all, it is water time. Okay. Furthermore, I will give you answers. I feel like you deserve that much. You were thrust into unusual circumstances. So, I welcome you once more to the Ark. A place where you can relax and ponder. A place where you can collect yourself. Only a select few are allowed entry here. Those that I trust with my life. But not only that, with the lives of many. And you are the first in a very long time. So, you are free to relax. No danger will befall you here. Not as long as you are by my side. He inches closer to me, as if my safety increases with his proximity. So, about these answers you requested, I am willing to provide you with them. But I'll only answer one question. There are more important matters at hand. I would like it if you thought carefully. I will not be vague or hide the truth. So make sure you ask what you truly want. You deserve it, after what you experienced. But there are far larger issues at hand. I fear the death of Clace is unimportant. Unimportant? Well, that's an insult, that's for sure. Especially when someone just lost their life. But it's probably unwise to vocally contest him. Instead, I stop and think of what I should ask. But only one question. That's hardly fair. There's a veritable amount of them in my mind. Everything about today was an enigma. And much of it fell into the realm of the supernatural. You can't expect me to find closure from one question. Unless that was the point. The ability to bend the reality to my will? He's testing me. <sighs> there had to be a way to get all the answers, and still adhere to his rule of one question. If this power was true, I could easily accomplish that. Would you like to save your game? Yes, and I actually think I'm going to pause it right there, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.